Shalom, 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 Yasharal and Yahuda. Grafted in Gentiles to the body from Mashiach. We praise Yahuda for the witness. The Ruach has with that slaughter the blood. Listening to IT. Hezekiah. Flood King. I don't write this music. They didn't know until the flood came. I mean, you who in the name of you, to my I pray right now that you take the reins of my lips and the reins of my tongue and reins. Abba, I pray for those that are under the sound of my voice. I pray that I would not cause anyone to stumble, anyone to be turned out of the way, anyone to come up late. Abba, I submit to you and your Ruach Abba speak from my belly. Bring rivers of living water in the name of you, Shemashiach. I take authority of every unclean ruach, every perverse ruach in the name of you, Shemashiach. I thank you for power, power that is resident power. I thank you for Zeusi and Dunamu in the arrest manifested in the Shamaim by your backing of the word. Abba Yehud, you told me whatever I bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever I agree to on earth is agreed to in heaven. I agree to take authority over these demonic forces that have set themselves up against those that you have chosen. I bind them in their activities. I command them to cease in their maneuvers. Abba Yehud, in the name of you, Shemashiach, I pray for those that are under the sound of my voice. I pray that they would be quickened in the Ruach of Yahuwah concerning the Torah that is being delivered unto them. I pray, Abba Yahuwah, that they would submit to your word in obedience to Torah and walk in truth. Abba Yahuwah, I praise you right now for the witness. The Ruach HaKodesh, the water and the blood. Every demon and devil, take your hands off of your feet. Take your hands off those of you who are so. In the name of Yusuf Mashiach, Yahuwah, rebuke you. In the name of Yahushua Mashiach, I say it so. I will Yahuwah, I praise you for your Torah. That's a lamp unto our feet, a light unto our pathway. I praise you for Torah. For the answer to Torah gives light, gives understanding to the simple. I praise you for Torah. For that your Torah is our light. It's peace. It's medicine to all our flesh. I give you praise for Torah. I be Yahuwah, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Yahuwah, my strength and my redeemer. Hallelujah. They didn't know till the flood came. I. They knew not until the flood came. Hear ye, hear ye. You must be born again of the water and the Ruach of death. And if you are not, guess what? You ain't gonna know till the flood came. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. If you're not born again, you're not going to know until the flood comes, all right? Now we know uh, that the flood he's referencing, right, is the flood that came as Noah was building the ark, yet as a testimony against him, warning of uh, imminent destruction because of the wickedness is in the heart of men, all right? Flood. This flood that came devastated the entire Aretz, right? And only delivered righteous Lot and his house, right? Right? Flood came. They didn't know till the flood came. They didn't even know what the flood was. Had no idea. They mocked him for the years that he built the ark. They mocked him. 
Every Shabbat, every day of feast, they mocked him. They didn't realize the severity of the consequences until the flood came. Until the flood came. Right? You who are not born again of the water and of the Ruach HaKodesh, you ain't going to know nothing until the flood comes. You who are called and are not chosen. You, those who have no desire to hear a call of Yasharal first and of the other nations, you ain't going to know when the flood comes. You're not going to know when the destruction comes. Right? See, Yahuwah has sent out a word for us to flee Babylon. Right? Leave this whore. Leave this abominated wretch, right? Told us to flee Babylon, right? You have it in your power to do so. You can make the necessary plans to make a transition. You can leave the United Snakes of America. Do not until the flood came. And Yahuwah warns us. He sends out warnings, right? But those who I'm going to receive the warnings. Ain't gonna know until the flood comes. They're not gonna know until the destruction of Babylon occurs. This wicked, diabolical, wretched nation. They gonna know until the flood comes. They gonna know until the destruction that Yahuwah has set for this nation and for the world. Right, 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 right. See, because there's a destruction that's coming. There's a there's a judgment that's coming. Right? This judgment has been prophesied from the foundations. It's got to come. Right? The destruction of the ungodly has to occur. The redemption of his people, Yahshua and Yehuda, that are born again of the water and the Ruach HaKodesh, and of the other nations that have become his people, right? They are going to escape the destruction. They're going to enter into the ark, right? They're going to make it into the ark. By the Ruach of Wisdom and Revelation, Yahuwah is going to plant within them the knowing of when this transition is to occur. And if they hear his voice and move according to as he instructs, they're going to be able to go into the bridegroom's ride. They're going to go to the marriage feast. They're going to enter into the kingdom. You, you, you got to be born again of water, Ruach, I go dash. You got to be born again of water, Ruach, I go dash. I'm not talking accepting Jesus. I'm not talking about accepting the Lord. I'm not talking about paganism. I'm, talking about, I'm not talking about Christianity. Christianity is paganism. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about the railroading of a, of, of a culture and a, a, a Torah and a Basora and making it into something that's diabolical. Right? Something that's wicked. Something that gives you an, a, a, the, the green light to sin. Right? The green light not to keep the laws. Right? These who participate and this ungodly Christianity. Zionism. Islam. 
major religions of the Arets who serve Alua. And now the objective is, is to bring all of these L's under one umbrella. Right? right? Bring them all under one umbrella. Everybody worships and gives homage to their L under this one umbrella. We don't do that there. We don't worship like that. We give heed to the Torah. The first commandment, thou shall have no other else before him, Yahuwah. You shall not make any graven images or likenesses of any other else. Not even Yahuwah. Because Yahuwah is not, not designed to be put in an L, a, a stone monument. <laughs> He's living. They knew not until the floods came. Listen. They knew not until the floods came. Let me say, cuss, 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 you know. You have to. Be born to get a water rule, I gotta go dash to know when the floods come. See, cause you know, this is not gonna take us by surprise. It's not gonna overtake us like a thief. The rule I go dash that you was given to us, the witness. Best witness with our ruach. We're sons of you. You who is not gonna leave his sons and his daughters in a place where a flood of destruction is coming. Without an ark. Or he's not going to tell you to flee a place. In Amunah, which requires you to trust him without supplying you what you need in order to do what you need to do. They knew not until the floods came. See, 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 see. There are people that have been chosen. Who Yahuwah knows their name. Yaakov, Yahuda Gaal. He knows my name. I'm chosen. I have his Ruach on the inside of me. I have been born of the water and of the Ruach HaKodesh. Right? I've received a Yahusha Hamashiach as my kinsman Yahuda Redeemer. He who has come to the lost sheep of Yashara. He who he has that belongs to him. We remotely concerned about when the flood came, comes. <laughs> because he's already told us the prayer. <laughs> He's already told us to prepare an ark. He's already told us to leave. To flee. This wretched daughter. As you know, you got those people that want to argue. Well, the Ruach of Babylon is throughout the entire Oretz. But you know, that's true but. Right. This this diabolical United Snakes of America has caused the other nations to drink of her fornication. They control the outcome of most nations through sanctions, through covert 
tearing down and bringing up and raising up govern governments. Yeah, you know, some of y'all they go like it. I, I listen. I'm I'm an advocate of the truth, the absolute truth. Right? That's been my tag, the absolute truth. It was the truth, but it became the absolute truth. Right? See, because I know when the floods come. Some of y'all say, you know, when the floods come. <laughs> because at the appointed time, you who's going to tell me when it's coming and when and how to leave? See, 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 they knew not because they were none of his. They knew not because they didn't belong to him. See, you who have been chosen know us. You have been chosen, Noah's wives, Noah's sons and their wives, and Noah's wife. You who have been given what is necessary to escape in the city. One in the house, two in the city. <laughs> Not until the floods came. See, 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 you, he is going to provide what is necessary in order to deliver you, to bring you out. The flood ain't gonna take you, overtake you, right? Let me see, let's do this. I truly believe there are times, right, that this AI creature tries to mess with me. <laughs> uh, but he ain't gonna win. I have the victory to overcome at the world. Let me see what we're looking for. Uh, is it in Matthew? Uh, no, it may not even be in Matthew. I'm on the other person. Let's go to Second Peter three and ten. Right. 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 He says, actually, let's start it. Second Peter, first one. Right. This is the second epistle. Beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir you up and put pure minds by way of remembrance. I'm trying to stir you up to spark something in you. To help you to understand that you don't need to become complacent, but you don't need to be anxious either, right? That ye may be mindful of the Torah, right? Which were spoken before of the holy prophets. Right, because, you know, you know, Peter, this is Peter. I might have said Paul, but this is Peter. Peter, a Hebrew understood Hebrew culture. He understood the law and the prophets. By the Ruach of Wisdom and Revelation, the clarity of it all 
had become manifested in him. Right? Right? He says, that ye be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets. Right? And of the commandments of us, his apostles, or the apostles of Adonai, our Savior. Right? Remember what we have spoken to you that coincides with or is in agreement with what we understand from the Torah that was delivered by the prophets. Right? I understand this. Right? He says, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last day scoffers. They knew not until the floods came. Scoffers. Scoffers, they're gonna make mockery, right? Right? It's that Strong's word, scoffers, right? It's Greek. Strong's G, 1703, in pike taste. In pike taste. In pike taste. In pike it means mock. Oh, you think you know. I'm Christian. I'm Muslim. You don't know what you're talking about. Right? Jesus is the way. Yesu, Jesus. E, E, Sus, Su or Sui, Pig, E, Ruler, E, Ruler, Ruler of, Sus, Pigs. They knew not until the floods came. They didn't know. They didn't want to know. They want to mock us. Mock us. Right? Right? He says, in the last days, the last days, We understand that there's a difference be the time of the destruction that's going to come to the United States, snakes of America, as Babylon and that which is going to come upon the entire earth. Because see, the rest of the world are going to look at this whore and regret. They're going to look at this great whore and she's come down. This whore that that, that ruined the other nations. Ugh. They knew not until the floods came. And see, so you know, you know, this, this, this diabolical whore, right, has at its, at its power and force, is Antichrist, and or Hasatan, who's driving this agenda. Kindness, this wickedness, it's diabolical, that's right, 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 this, 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 this diabolicalness, right? The Greek word, Long G, last day, Eschatos, 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 Eschatos. Right, it means extreme. Right. Extreme days, right? Referring to a time, an extreme time. Referring to a last, last in time or in place. We're in the last days, right? Right. After Yahushua entered into the arrest, 
He was bringing forth the last days. Last time. Right? Now we know, we know, we know that there were still things that have yet to be fulfilled in prophecy. Right? Babylon has to fall. Right? Right? The righteous of Yahuwah has to flee. See, because you know, the destruction of Babylon is going to come. And I guess some people just ain't going to want to leave. They ain't going to leave. The Hebrews ain't going to leave. They knew not until the flood came. They ain't going to know until it's too late. Right? Too late. Right? Destruction's gonna come. But see, but we who are in this witness, we gonna know. We gonna reveal it to us. We have this rock of truth. We are his. We belong to him. We belong to him. Walking after, right? Their own lust. It's theirs. Their lust. Scoffers. In the last days. You got a bunch of scoffers on TikTok. <laughs> you got a bunch of scoffers on Facebook and Instagram and Every social media outlet, you got scoffers. I pick them up every day when I Uber in my truck. Scoffers. Not until the floods came. See, just like that, like in the days of no, no, no. Laying wood and ceiling. Gaps, pitching, waterproofing, huge, 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 enough for every species of animal or bird that ever existed on the earth to come into the arcs at a specific time and a specific number. But everybody else didn't do not until the flood came. See, cause you know, it was, it was a wicked time. It was the time of the Nephilim. Time of the fallen in the arrests. Every intent and in the heart of man was evil continuously. See now, the only people in the last days whose heart is not desperately wicked and evil always are those who have been born of the water of the Ruach HaKodesh and has received the witness of Yushim It's evil. The extreme days. The extremely wicked, diabolical days. Paisley said they want to turn our sons into ladybugs and our daughters into shameless whores by the score. He says they always show you something gay on TV. Always show you something. A little piece of 
basic little clips of Point O'Neill G4202 Homosexuality Blue Letter Bible. Blue Letter Bible Strong Concordance G4202, G4204, G4205, G42, 3, 4, Point O'Neill. Evil. Just like in the days of Noah. Right? Days of no. Right? They do not until the flood came. Right? Let's, let's, let's look at. Let's look at Second Peter. Matter of fact, let's do it this way. No, First Peter. First Peter three. Right. Right. He says First Peter three and fifteen. We're gonna start at verse fifteen. Right. Right. Fifteen. He says, but Sanctify Adonai Yahuwah in your hearts by the Ruach HaKodesh. Right? 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 Ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you the reason of your hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Right? Now my Aki, right? He did a lesson on Midrash about giving an answer. Right? Right? But the key that he brought out is that you have to have you as Ruach HaKodesh and you have to be meditating in the word in order for there to be something that's in your heart, a Torah, that Yahuwah will give you at that time. Yahushua says, that, you know, uh, at that time when, you know, you, you're taken and you're put in a place where you have to give an account for uh, this witness, and don't worry about it. Don't be anxious for it. Don't try to prepare nothing ahead of time. The Ruach HaKodesh, right, that has, that you have sanctified in your hearts by Yahuwah Lu, right? Right? Will be there to respond to whatever it is that is needful for the recipient to have. Right. right? He says here, sanctify you in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and reverence and fear. Right? A preparation. Because, you know, it's, it's, it's the Ruach sanctification in your heart that puts you in the position, right, to know when the flood comes. See, you are going to know what you need to know. <laughs> right? He says here, he says here, Having a good conscience, why? Because you are a son of Yahuwah and you don't sin. Right? How would you mean we don't sin? You don't practice sin. And you know what? If you do sin, because you have you as Ruach HaKodesh, you know instantaneously and you know when you need to do something about it. Right? I'm going to share something real quick with you, right? 
you know, we were having our prayer group today. The men, we pray every morning. We try to do it between 9 and 9.30. We all get together on the Zoom, and we all present a scripture that, you know, that means something to us, and we, we share that word with everyone in the group. Everybody generally does the scripture verse, right? And then after that, you know, we ask for prayer, you know, and so on and so forth, you know. And, you know, I really, I, I'm, I'm really like, um, I, I, I really take the position that I already know what Yahuwah is going to do because I know as long as I do what is right, he's going to answer me, right? And I want the brothers to agree with me because, you know, my wife had an issue with her car. Right? And yesterday we went to take the car in, right? And, you know, I told him, I said, I, I believe it, it's the... Uh, uh, air compressor uh, suspension, right? Because it was making this noise for a while, and then all of a sudden it stopped, and then the rear end lowered down, and it wouldn't go back up again. So I said, you know, I'm, I'm believing it's the, the compressor because the compressor was making this noise, and um, but you know, you know, you, you probably got to lift it up, and you know, if you need to check the, anything else come up, let me know, right? So, you know, of course, he was like, oh, it was okay, okay. So they took it in, you know, and, and you know, they, they told us it was ready when we went to pick it up, you know, nothing changed. And I said to him, I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, how come the rear end is not going up? So, uh, well, you know, it was up a little while ago. I'm thinking, no, it couldn't have been, you know. I get in the car and turn it on. The, I don't even hear the air compressor kick in. So I'm thinking, this is not fixed. You know, I'm like, okay, because they were getting ready to close. It's towards their closing time. I said, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll bring it back in the morning if it doesn't if it doesn't respond. So, you know, next morning um, was today, this morning. And, you know, we was in the prayer group. And I was like, yeah, you know, my wife had this problem with her car. Da, 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 da. You know, I just asked she to agree with me in prayer. You know, that, you know, it's going to work its way out. I already know you was going to do it, but it works its way out. Right? right? So we ended up. We ended up uh, finishing our prayer, you know, Aki prayed for me, I was praying for all of us. I'm like, oh, cool, get in the car. We take the car back over to the dude, and I'm like, okay, you know, you know, I'm, 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 uh, I'm getting ready to go in. Me and my wife walking in, you know, dropping the car off, and I walk in, I say, hey, listen, man, it's not fixed. And he went to start, to exp he been making excuses. Well, you know, we, we did what you asked us to do. I'm like, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I told you that it was probably the air compressor that needed to be replaced. But I told you, make sure you check it, make sure the airbags are going up, because if anything else comes up that needs to be done, I want you to tell me so we can done, get it fixed. But the air compressor that's designed to raise the tires, it's not even working. He's like, well, you know, nah, nah. so you know, he's steadily making excuses, so you know the brew in me. <laughs> the brew in me started rising, you know, like, you know, get I get kind of angry, but I was, each time I was like, okay, okay, you know, and I was like, okay. So finally, you know, I told him, I said, listen, I need you to, I need it fixed, you know. And, you know, by that time, you know, I had uh, two other mechanics and somebody else in the waiting area because, you know, <laughs> I guess they felt like, you know, this brother might get, get off, you know. So anyway, I walk out, me, take my wife to my truck. I took my e-bike out to come home, right? I ride my e-bike every morning. It's probably about eight miles away from my house, no big deal. You know, I told my wife, you know, I said, I, I said, well, you know, um, when he calls you, let me know, right? So um, I get my bike and you said, now you know you gotta go in and tell that man you're sorry. <laughs> Just brew up, I go next. I'm going to tell that man you're sorry. Right? So I'm like, okay, you who I rode right back to the thing. I walked in. I said, listen, I just want to tell you I apologize, you know, for uh, 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 how I may have presented myself, you know. You know, uh, certain things make me angry, you know. You know, and, uh, but, you know, there's, there's no need for... Um, my projecting. He's like, oh, no, 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 it's understand. We, it's no problem. We probably took my hands out there. Shook. I said, no, I, you know, I was wrong. Oh, that's fine. He says, okay. So I left. Then I met my wife. She's still getting ready to pull my truck out. I said, listen, babe. I said, I had to go back in and apologize to him because Ruach Akodesh told me to because I knew it was necessary 
in order for Yehuda to do what he needed to do to make sure this problem wasn't a bad problem. Because he already told me it was going to cost me another $140 or $140 to do a diagnostic. So he, I can, I can already anticipate paying another $140 some dollars, and we had already paid $600. <laughs> it didn't even did work, right? So needs to say, I get, I ride the bike home. Wife goes out to work, you know, and you know, I ain't sweating that because you know, I know you got me. It's no big deal, you know. I cut the grass, weed eat the yard, you know, do all of that stuff. I know I got a text from my wife. So Looking at my text, from my wife, she said, "Hey, they said it was the fuse. They ain't gonna charge us." So they put it on this machine. They did a diagnostic. Diagnostic said it was a fuse. The only thing. So they replaced the fuse, right? They didn't charge us for the diagnostic. So my wife said, "No, don't worry about it." Just you can come pick up the vehicle. Right? right? Now, that's because I can hear the voice of Yahuwah, right? And not allow myself to sin. And if I do make allocations for whatever it is that I've done, make corrections to, now nah, I didn't swear, I didn't cuss this guy out. You know, I, 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 I was just demonstrative, right? And very imposing. <laughs> I didn't cuss. I didn't even threaten them, right? But Yahuwah told me what I needed to do because I needed to do this in order for him to do what he needed to do. Right? You, you know when you do wrong. You know when you sin. So don't, you know, don't give me this, well, you know, I'm, I'm I'm asking you to forgive me for the things I don't know. No. If you've been born again in the water and Ruach condition, you have this Ruach condition inside of you, you know when you transgress Torah at the point in which you transgress Torah. You just override it. He has sanctified his Ruach HaKodesh in your heart. You know the voice of Yahuwah. You're going to know when the flood comes. <laughs> when they knew not until the flood came, you're going to know when he, you, who is ready for you to exit stage left. You're going to be ready to go when you who is says exit stage left. He says, but sanctify you who in your hearts and be ready always to answer every man that asks you of the reason of your hope that is in you with meekness and fear, right? Having a good conscience. See, now I knew after I had done what I had done, my conscience was good. See, you know, I, I have, I had to watch how I can be. You know, I picked up a guy in Uber. I was taking him to get his truck before dealing. And I was telling him how he's like, you know, he says, uh, we talking about how we can, you know, sometimes we can just move our way into traffic because we have a truck. Right? You know, and I said, well, you know, I keep my windows down, you know, and I try to make every effort for people to see me you know, when I'm when I'm getting ready to make a move or anything, and he says, "Well, you know, you you can force your way in because because you you a big dude. <laughs> you have this look this look about you of seriousness, <laughs> uh, right?" He said, "They they ain't gonna respond to me like they respond to you." You got to move in a manner in which you're not a threat. You have to be a reflection of the love of you. Right? Having a good conscience that whereas they speak evil of you as evildoers, which they do of us, right? They may be ashamed that falsely accuse you, accuse you, accuse your com your good conversation in Mashiach. That's a 
position yourself. And you're who's going to do what's right by you. You're who is going to work it out for your good. You who is going to warn you. Though the days are evil. And though these gentlemen didn't do everything in there and do everything right when they did the service on my vehicle. He didn't the guy that did it didn't even know where the airbags were. He got up under the vehicle yesterday evening looking for the airbags. I'm like, what? Oh, I see them. I see where they're at. What? He says, yeah, they look kind of uh, bent down and cracked. Of course they look bent down because there's no air in it. He says, oh, but they look hard. What? He says, for it is better that the will of the Lua be so that ye suffer for doing, for well doing, and not for ill. See, I, I couldn't allow that impression of being threatening and harmful to someone right. be left. Couldn't do that. Can do that. Right? He says here, For Hamashiach also had once suffered for sin, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to Elua, being put to death in the flesh and quickened in the Ruach HaKodesh. Right? 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 By which also we went and preached, by which also he went and preach unto the Ruach in prison. So you, you know, he died, went into Sheol, and preached. He went down into that place where the revelation of the witness had to be brought. He says, which sometimes were disobedience. Now, you know, you know, you should. And it was sometimes disobedience, right? So Yahushua's demonstration was to bring a witness to a people that needed to know the witness. He said, which well, sometimes were disobedience. When once the long suffering Alua waited until the days of Noah. So you know, you had to deal with those who departed and preach the witness to those that had that had that had fell victim of their sinful nature, right? Because of the mercy of Yahuwah, Yahushua preached. Which sometimes were disobedience, and when once the long suffering of Elua waited until the days of Noah while the ark was being prepared, right? Wherein few that is, eight souls were saved by water. Baptism. They were saved. They were saved. And I just said baptism, water baptism, but they were saved by water. See, the revelation of water bringing them salvation brought the Western world judgment because they refused to live as Noah lived. See, the water was a judgment, but the water was 
a deliverance for Noah the eighth. Water was their deliverance. But water was their judgment. They knew not until the flood came. See, but Noah knew. Noah knew that the flood was coming because you would told him, listen, the flood is coming. Prepare an ark. Noah knew the ark wasn't, the, the flood wasn't going to come until the ark was finished. <clears throat> Noah never had to be concerned about saying, you will, is the flood coming today? Is the flood coming today? Is the flood coming today? Uh, no. The ark ain't finished. And during that whole time, it's gonna rain. It's gonna what? It's gonna rain. Flood's coming. Repent. Repent. Flood's coming. They knew not until the flood came. They didn't escape judgment. All right? Because of the flood. He said, listen, 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 listen. While the ark was being prepared, wherein, wherein few, that is eight souls, were saved by water. Right? And like figure, wherein to baptism. The water is... This, this this flood was their baptism. <laughs> this flood was their baptism. He said, listen. Kadar, be quiet and go let out. Right? He says, which sometimes were disobedience when once the long suffering of Alua awaited in the days of Noah. Right? While the ark was in preparation or being prepared. Right? Wherein few, that is, eight souls, were saved by water. The like figure or type, whereunto baptism, right? A purification, right? right? Yahuwah baptized the wretch. <laughs> he washed away the wickedness the perversion, the distortions that were the influence of Nephilim and of the fallen angels. This giving man and woman magic and women makeup and witchcraft and all of this stuff. Maybelline. Mary. <laughs> Uh, years old. <laughs> All of these things to adorn yourself. Present something that's not real. Uh, these filters. <coughs> it's not real. It's, it's witchcraft. Source. You who had to baptize the Uretz. He had to wash away its sin. He says, The figure ran to baptism doeth also now save us. Bapti baptism also now saves us by the washing away of our sins. Now, the baptismal washing away of the sin is a necessary, a necessary um, requirement of which Yahushua first partook in. It was it was customary. We understood that in order to present ourselves before a righteous Alua, we had to clean or wash our physical bodies. 
was necessary. This washing, this baptism was a figure. He says, right? Not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but the answer to a good conscience towards you. Right? So it says here, not the putting away of the flesh, the filth of the flesh. Right? It's deeper than that. It affects your consciousness. Yeah, we washed under Torah because we had to wash. We couldn't come before you who were filthy, right? But it's greater than what we had experienced on the original covenant because this witness that Yahushua has introduced deals specifically with your conscience. It deals with the restored heart, right? The original was the washing of the flesh. The covenant was a covenant of the flesh, the foreskin. Right? Of a good conscience towards the Lord. Beloved, now we're the sons of you, daughters of you, because we've received this witness, right? By the resurrection, by the resurrection of Hamashiach, right? Who is gone into the Shamaim and is at the right hand of Yahuwah Alua. Angels and authorities and powers being made subject unto him. Right? Angels, powers, and authority, right? Being made subject unto him. Adonai Yahuwah and Yahuwah. Who's his name? You said that I have power. And you shall receive power. After the Ruach HaGodesh has come upon you. You should be witnesses. Who's gone into the heavens and at the right hand of Elua. Now, 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 the days of Right? Right? Days of Noah. Right? They were giving they were giving they were marrying and giving in marriage. They were doing everything then that they're doing now. The flood is coming. Yahuwah has to destroy Babylon. Yahuwah has to bring forth his people out of Babylon. His people have to flee Babylon. Right? People have to flee Babylon. They have to leave this wicked whore. It's diabolical, wicked whore. You have to. It's it's prophetic. It, you you have to. Jeremiah 50, Jeremiah 50 and 28, right, right, the voice, the voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babylon to declare in Zion the vengeance of Yahuwah, right, our Alua and the vengeance of of his temple, right? 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 Let me see, let me see what it was. Is that the one I wanted? Um, it's 
See, because Babylon is going to come under judgment. It's going to experience the judgment of you. Right? Let me see. Oh, yeah. I want, I want Jeremiah 51. All right? Thus saith Yahuwah, Behold, I will rise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind. A destroying wind. Against Babylon. And then they rise up against Babylon. Right? He says here, And will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble they shall they shall be against her round about. Right? Again, bendeth let the archers bend his bow and against him that lifted himself up in his uh, Brigidine and spare ye not the younger men, and destroy ye utterly all the host. Right? Right? He says, For thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, and they that are thrusted through in her streets. Right? For Yashara is not forsaken. Right? Nor Yehuda. Right? Of his allure, of Yahuwah of hosts, of the Yahuwah of hosts, Yahuwah Zavao, through their lands, was filled with sin against the Holy One of Yashara, right? Flee out in the midst of Babylon, and deliver every man his soul, and be not cut off in her iniquity. You know, you know, there's gonna be, there's gonna be plenty that ain't gonna not until the floods came, right? Many, they're not going to when the flood comes, right? Right, right, right. He says, "Be not cut off in her iniquities, for this is the time of Yahuwah's vengeance against diabolical Babylon." Yahuwah's vengeance against the diabolical daughter of Babylon. For this is the time of Yahuwah's vengeance. Right? He says, Babylon, a golden cup in Yahuwah's hands that made all the earth drink. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. About as jacked up as she is. Right? Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Like she's going to come down. But see, see, see. That's not going to come to you. He said here, no, 2 Peter 3 and 3, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust and saying, where is the promise of his coming? Where is he coming? Where's the promise of his coming? Right? Right? For is the father fell asleep? Is your Alua asleep at the job? Psalms 121. He neither slumbers nor sleeps. Right? All things continue. As in the days of Noah. What, those 700 years? In the time in which he was preparing that ark, 
think it was 700 weeks. Maybe it was as long as 700. But I know it was a long time. He was preparing that art. You know. You know Babylon's father, right? We know by the Ruach of Wisdom and Revelation that the destruction is coming to this nation. But yet they still celebrate. It's building million dollar houses, condominiums, you know, fast tracking the wealth, buying property and homes in this in this 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 land is destined for destruction. They knew not until the flood came. And they ain't gonna know. Because this information is for those of you who has chosen. This word is for those of you who has chosen. This is for those of you who has chosen. He said, listen, 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 listen. Where for all the beginning of the creation, everything continues on. For this they willingly are ignorant. Selling drugs, prostitution, embezzlement, murder, stealing, theft, adultery, idol worship. They knew not until the flood came. The children of Hasatan. There's only two. Children of you and children of Hasatan. They knew not until the flood came. It says here. And for they willingly ignorant of the word of, the, of that the word of Allah, the heavens, that by the word of Allah, the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. They ignorant of this. ignorant of it being Yahoo. Right? Whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. They knew not until the flood came. See, they didn't witness the destruction. But the heavens and the erects which are now by the same word are kept in store revealed unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of the ungodly. Yeah, it's going to be destroyed with fire. And there's going to be a new heaven and a new erects. They're ignorant of this. They're going to die in a sense. Because they ain't going to know that the flood's coming. They're ignorant. They continue to feel the world's going to go on as it is. It's nothing going to change. You know, I can't control it. And it ain't going to change. So, you know, I'm just going to ride it out. Just going to ride. Ride it to the end. They knew not until the flood came. Man, I love my Aki Hezekiah. I really do. I mean, you gotta understand this. This is a prophetic word. He says, Whereby the world that was then was overflowed by water and perished, but the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store. Same tour. They brought forth the judgment. It's the same tour that keeps in preservation that which Yahuwah has created. Same tour. Right? 
right? But he has it reserved because a word has been spoken of a judgment by fire, right? He says, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing that one day with you is as a thousand years as a thousand years is as a day. Yeah, listen, the end ain't yet. Babylon's destruction is approaching. They knew not until the floods came. Listen, listen, listen. We still got to escape to the whore. The nation's got to mourn the destruction, the leveling of this whore. They knew not until the flood came. He said, listen, right? And who is not slack concerning his promise? As man, the kind of slackness, but as long suffering towards, towards word, to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance, because he wants everyone to receive this witness. But you know, guess what? There are gonna be those that knew not until the flood came. But the day of Yahuwah will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away a great noise and a fervent element shall melt with fervent heat and the earth also and the works thereof shall be burned up. Seeing that in all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought ye be in holy conversation? Right? Right? And godliness, kodeshness, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of you. Are you looking for this hastening of the coming of you? See, we're looking for this hastening of the exit of Babylon. We know a destruction is coming to the this, this daughter of Babylon. We know that this daughter of Babylon is going to be destroyed. We know we got to leave here. We're looking it for it. Hastening, right? Nevertheless, we look according to his promise. Look for a new Shalom and a new earth where dwelleth righteousness. Listen, 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 listen. We have Babylon. We got to leave. The United States of America, the daughter of Babylon is going to be destroyed. Right? right? There is a gathering of this people. Right? A reigning of Yahushua Hamashiach in the arrest. And there's a judgment, right, of Armageddon, right, a, a judgment of Armageddon. You know, all these nations are going to converge on the nation of Yasharal, right, that are in a land to destroy her, right? They're going to come together to do that. Because after a thousand years, how's the time's going to be released? And he's going to gather everybody. Come on, come on, let's go. Let's go meet him over here. We destroyed by the word of Yahuwah's mouth. We destroyed. After a thousand years, that new technology. They're going to come after. This kingdom on the Eretz. He says, Wherefore, beloved, seeing that we, that ye look for such things, be diligent, that ye may be found of him in peace without spot or blemish. Your diligence 
in Torah, your diligence in prayer, your diligence in fasting is what is going to be required, right? So that you may be found in him in peace. And without blame, and without spot. See, you gonna know when the flood comes. What did Yahushua say? Um, you should say, uh, uh, He says, and Peter, Paul says in, in 2 Thessalonians, he says, but the time and the season, brother, I have no need to write unto you. I got to tell you what time and season it is, right? For yourselves know perfectly that the day of Yahuwah so cometh as a thief in the night. Right? For when they shall say peace and safety, then suddenly destruction cometh on them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness. That the day should overtake you as a thief. See, you gonna know when the third flood comes. You gonna know. See, because they knew not when the floods came. But you gonna know. Right? You gonna know. He says, listen. Ye are all the children of the light. You have been born again of water, Ruach, Agodesh. You who have his witness. You are son you who are sons and daughters of Yahuwah. You are the children of the light, children of the day. You have you as Ruach on the inside of you. You have glory on the inside of you. You have a seed. You have an effervescence in earth vessels, right? He says, ye are the children of light and the children of the day, and ye are not of the night nor of the kingdom of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep. Let us not be unprepared. Let us not move about with a lack of discipline or diligence. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that are drunken, are drunken in the night. Contrast between the states of darkness and Hasatan's kingdom, right? But let us who are of the day, of the light, of the world, be sober, putting on the breastplate of right, breastplate of faith and love, and the helmet, the hope of our Yeshua. For Lua hath not appointed us to wrath. He was not appointed us to wrath. But to obtain Yeshua. Through Yahushua, I don't know Yahushua Hamashiach, who died for us. That whether we sleep, physical death, we shall, should live together with him. They knew not until the floods came. 
That ain't you. You are his people. You have been born again in the water in Ruach Congo Desert. You are his people. You are his people. Walk as his people. Preparing yourself as his people. Diligence. This witness. Diligence in this walk. Diligence in this word. Diligence in fasting. Diligence in prayer. See, because they don't know when the flood's coming. But you ain't got to worry about it overtaking you like a thief. They knew not until... The floods came. They had no time to prepare. They had no way knowing to exit stage left. And then, you know, even though they had an opportunity, they didn't want to take it because you know what? They were in darkness. They ain't going to overtake us like a thief. Man of y'all, woman of y'all, don't be like those who knew not until the floods came. Don't be that, that guy, that gal. <laughs> Don't be that Aki, that Akoti, that that Moray, that Mora, that Elder, that Ima. Don't be that. I'll be who in the name of Yusuf Mashiach, the words you've given me to give them, I'm giving to them. And I pray that in Amunah they would receive them, that they would be strengthened, they would come in line with it, and they would walk in the obedience of it. How about you? I am your servant sent forth to declare a word, a Torah, a Basura, and I will deliver a Torah, a Basura, as you have given it to me. How about I praise your great name? I magnify your great name. I glorify your great name. How about I pray that the words of my mouth and meditation of my heart will be acceptable in thy sight. You who are my strength and my redeemer. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, called to greatness, right? Woman of you who are beautifully and wonderfully made, today you who has favored you, it is the pre-Shabbat. We praise you for the Shabbat. We praise you for the word of you the fellowship of you with the mishpocket and the rest. Hallelujah. So, man of y'all, woman of y'all, with that I'm going to say be blessed. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Shabbat shalom, shabbat shalom, shabbat shalom, and be blessed. Torah Garden Speaking the absolute truth Torah Nation